this is not how I pictured my life. As the fifth wife of TLC superstar, Cody Brown. We're literally living in a van down by the river. Only the river is like this little weird pond on Coyote Pass that's full of prairie dog poop. Of course, it's like, what are we going to do? Janelle took the RV. Once I realized that they didn't have any money, I mean, it was like a knife in the kidney. Yeah, I said it. I was misled. Why are you sitting so closely? I mean, there's literally acres of land. You could sit anywhere. You're sitting closely and you're sitting weirdly. Go over by the trees. Sorry. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> you gotta make, like, prairie dog poop lemonade, you know? Um, this wasn't, like... You're still sitting weird. Um, you know, this wasn't what I expected of my life. <laughs> yep. One thing I didn't realize about Mormon fundamentalism is there's no coffee. There's no coffee, there's no caffeine, there's no... There's no... <laughs> to get me through this, <laughs> you know? I mean, <laughs> I've already destroyed my liver, so I don't, uh, I don't understand, you know, how <laughs> I ended up here. <laughs> I'm not crazy, it's just. I can't imagine being locked up with these people during COVID, you know, I mean, I, I feel bad for the kids and the kids, um, turns out they had like another dad or something, most of them. So, um, they went to go live with some normal family and they, you know, can't fit them in the van. And, um, the other kids that I guess didn't have another dad actually had other moms. Um, I guess there were other sister wives before me who have real homes. So they'll be living with them. They were able, you know, miraculously living in a five bedroom house. Some woman named Christine was still able to make a bedroom for Saul and whatever the other kid's name was. <laughs> yeah. We had to get rid of the kids because we don't have a nanny anymore, <laughs> you know? Um, well, I mean, we only have one nanny. They had like three nannies when they lived in the house up on the hill way back there. Turns out, you know, they let me know. But um, once they couldn't afford all three and they only had to go down to one, you know, this nanny provides care for them. So <laughs> we can't have other children around so it's just us just the three of us <laughs> um these two they're always over <laughs> in that corner you know it's like <laughs> i mean you know it's like we all the three of us we all have good relationships i just you know, I don't sleep in, in the van. You know, I have a sleeping bag um, outside in the back. And it is hard because, like, what happened is that, you know, they never really built on this land. Instead, they used it as a dumping ground for all of their trash and other materials. So it doesn't smell good. Um, and there are a lot of wild animals. And I think the trash just, like, attracted more prairie dogs and more poop. And, like, okay. But here's, I want to say, like, you have to take lemons and make it into lemonade, right? That's something I've learned for sure. Um, 
in this whole like polygamy situation and what Yeah, I mean, it is kind of like, it does get a little scary at night. <laughs> There's definitely some kind of animal that howls. Maybe it's like a coyote. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I mean, it's like a little bit scarier for me because I have to, um, like, I have to stay outside of the van, you know, to give Cody and Robin their privacy and like I sleep in this. So maybe it's just like a little bit harder for me. And being a sister wife isn't easy, you know, like, um, you've got to put others' thoughts and feelings before your own or something. I don't know. <laughs> I just, you know, that's what I tell myself or I don't know, but. okay okay yeah it's like when robin and i hang out we just like spend a lot of time together like bonding and um you know robin like she's helping me learn how to untangle um all the my sister wives jewelry that never um got purchased <laughs> and has just been like stuck in boxes in her house um for a long time and yeah, I mean, like, it's taking time, but we're getting it done, right? Right, girl? Right, girlfriend? First, let me say, like, I'm really sorry to all of you that I'm not wearing my makeup, but I, I don't have money, you know, to go to MAC anymore. The reason why is because, I mean, Robin and I, we had to choose between Robin going to, like, Victoria's Secret to get her necessary items or me continuing to, like, shop at MAC for um, the makeup I typically use. And it was like, someone had to um, give a little. And you know what? I'm I'm okay with that. So like, and it's like I've I've definitely come up with some of my own concoctions. Um, the prairie dog poop. Now you may say this is gross, but think about it. What is best for your body? Natural stuff, right? So the prairie dog poop. Like I'm working with it. I'm grinding it. It's getting. I'm getting it finer, thinner to a good quality where, where I will finally be able to use it. Um, you know, as a makeup product, and then my eyebrows can go back uh, to their former glory but it's gonna take some time like okay yeah this is just the beginning of what I'm working on with the prairie dog palettes like I'm trying to get um, the right color you know it's not easy and this this is not I know that this is I'm trying to get the right color for like a foundation to start with you know I mean it's not easy um, <laughs> the smell um, I mean I just feel like if you rub it in enough yeah I mean, I just look a little dirty, right? Um, which I've heard is in now. Okay. Yeah, like, that, oh, yeah, if I just work. So, I mean, I'm perfecting it. It's going to take some time. I'm going to make the best of this. You know, Cody and I, we met on Cameo, and, you know, it's just like, I got one of these rings, see, um, yeah, uh-huh, it doesn't fit on my finger, really, but that's okay, um, it's that, like, design that Robin and Cody love, I mean, I'm just, I'm dedicated to this family, <laughs> you know, I heard that there were women here before me who gave up on Cody and Robin and like that's not something I'm willing to do this sister wife are you kidding me you know I mean I'm in it to win it living out here like with all the prairie dogs and my lips they just get like so parched you know <laughs> and sometimes I just kind of like sit around thinking about Janelle and Christine <laughs> 
and all of their plexus drinks sound really good right now <laughs> you know what i'm saying robin there's no water or anything out here electricity we don't have any of that <laughs> But it turns out, like, I really think that this is God's way of trying to tell me that I need to step up and take care of these two, you know, and the nanny, the nanny that's taking care of them. I mean, it's like God is saying to me, Katie, do you really want to have your own planet someday? I mean, you're not going to get there by sitting on your ass in prairie poop on Coyote Pass. Cody is just pushing me to be more independent. He and Robin, they only want the best for me. <laughs> you know, I just, I feel it, you know? It's like I really feel the love from them. I was just like, I just have to hope and pray that... <laughs> my prairie dog poop makeup <laughs> will um go viral <laughs> so please like comment and share this video <laughs> let's get it out there guys but yeah i think that this could be like our ticket out of here like back into the flagstaff mansion i i just you know i just know the day is coming when we're finally going to be living the dream right guys <laughs> the dream i always had <laughs> to be cody's fifth wife and just make him the happiest he's ever been all right well <laughs> i gotta go because um a storm's a brewing but all right hope to see you guys soon <laughs> bye